Louisiana's first thriving businesses were ports. Their connection to the Mississippi River opened businesses and trade opportunities across the nation. This led to the creation of ports along the river's mouth, the most popular being New Orleans. But there's an unsung port even further south, and instead of imports, it services the energy market, Port Fouchon, and it's looking at making some big changes. Located at the bottom of LA-1 next to Grand Isle is Port Fouchon, which is home to over 200 companies who operate on land, air, and water. The port is the home base of Loop, Louisiana oil offshore port, the nation's only deep water oil import facility. We sat with Chet Chasson, the Greater Lafourche Port Commission's executive director, and got a sense of what one day of not being in operation does to not just Louisiana, but the country. When we can't get to Port Fouchon, but we otherwise could be operating, it has a $46 million daily impact to the energy industry, and it has a $500 million daily impact to the national GDP. The port offers a variety of services to energy-based businesses, with one of the main offerings being their large boat slips with dry docking capabilities. The port leases plots for containing and shipping materials brought in by boat and the facility's airport brings in 15,000 monthly customers to and from offshore rigs. 100% of the deep water assets in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico are serviced out of our port. You're looking at about 15 to 18% of the nation's oil supply. That's why it's making some changes, from expansions to diversifying into renewable energy. The port is also creating and restoring marshland around the port using materials from dredging operations. It has even been used to create the coastal wetland park. It has a tidal creek running through it. Non-motorized vessels can go and fish or just enjoy that new habitat that has been created there. But there's more in the works than dredging and land building. And that coastal wetlands park is where we're working with Gulf Wind Technologies to build Louisiana's first wind turbine. It's gonna create about 200 to 300 kilowatts of power. That wind power will potentially go towards powering the port's offices and the surrounding area, keeping the lights on and operations running so they can more efficiently meet the nation's energy needs. 